John Lennon with Aero News at Oshkosh, Wisconsin at the Air Venture 2011. And I'm here in the Avidyne booth with Tom Harper, Director of Marketing. Avidyne has just announced some fantastic new products and I'm here with Tom to learn about them. Tom, why don't you tell us what Avidyne announced here at the show? Sure, John. Uh, what we've done is Avidyne is now entering the Panel Mounted Avionics market with a full stack of avionics, including our AMX 240 audio panel, our IFD 540 GPS Navcom, our AXP 340 transponder, it's Mode S, and our DFC 90 autopilot. So now we have a full range of avionics that we can now offer our customers a choice uh, for panel mounted avionics. Well, that's fantastic, Tom. And when do you think these products will be available for the customers to order and have delivered? These products will be available early 2012 for the audio panel and the transponder, and then the second half of the year for the IFD 540. The DFC 90 is currently available, and we've announced at this show an expanded list of aircraft that are going to be certified for this autopilot. The autopilot's currently certified for Cirrus aircraft and some Piper Mirage aircraft, and Matrix are being added. Now we've announced at the show the Cessna 182 and the uh, Barons and Bonanzas are going to be added to that certification list. That's outstanding, Tom. I've flown the DFC-90 in the Cirrus, and it is a great autopilot. Why don't you take us through each of the products and tell us what the, you've done with them and how easy it is for the customers to go ahead and install them in their current panels. Okay. Yeah, on each of the products, one of the things that makes them unique in the market is that they're plug and play, and, and varying degrees, but basically, depending on the audio panel that you have, you can update to the uh, AMX 240, pull out the old audio panel, plug this one right in its slot, in some cases, add some much added functionality. This is a six place audio intercom, it's full stereo, it has Bluetooth interface capability for both cell phone and iPod or your DMP3 players. It has crew isolation capability so you can separate out the back seat from the front seat or isolate the pilot. And then our uh, IFD 540, our GPS Navcom, again it's a plug and play for the existing GNS 530 systems out there in the market, which there are plenty of. This allows you to Pull out that 530, slide in the IFD 540, and add touchscreen capability, add WAS in some cases if you didn't already have it, and get all of the easy to use functionality that Avidyne's famous for, ported it over from our Integra Release 9 system, which you're familiar with from the Cirruses. Our transponders, the AXP 340 is a slide-in replacement, it's plug and play for the KT76-78 series, which they're everywhere, and there's plenty of those, and a lot of customers are needing to upgrade to Mode S and ADS-B out to meet the mandate for 2020. This product is fully compliant for ADS-B out. So and you can slide it right in, add a GPS connection, which you'll need, and it's ready to go. The DFC-90 all-digital attitude-based autopilot delivers significant performance and safety improvements over previous generation systems. Its innovative flight envelope protection guards against autopilot-induced stalls and the straight and level mode provides one button recovery from unusual attitudes for an added measure of safety. Immensely popular within the Cirrus community, the DFC-90 is now being made available for a growing list of aircraft including Piper Matrix and Mirage, Cessna 182s, and Beach Bonanzas and Barons. Fly with confidence. Fly with DFC-90. You mentioned that the uh, 4540 has the uh the same functionality and capability as the R9. Is there anything else you'd like to show or, or tell us about that you were able to bring down to that scale of, of product? Sure. The, uh, in terms of, we've got the same communication, navigation, uh, and, and user uh, interface as R9 in, this, in a six and a quarter mark width product. The obvious thing, let me start with that, is, is that we kept some knobs and buttons on here. You can see there is a migration in, in the market to touch screen. We feel like, and we've listened to a lot of our pilots and our customers that still feel comfortable having some knobs and buttons that give you a knob you can hang on to in when you're in turbulence and buttons that have a positive tactile feel when you push them. Customers do want touch and there is some real advantages to have in touch when it's applied appropriately. Here we can select different uh, tabs by clicking left and right or with the touch I can just directly touch the tab and go right to it. So it really adds some, the touch adds some unique augmentation to the user interface that R9 is already renowned for its ease of use so it just makes it even better. Yeah, you're right Tom and one of the features that is just knockout on the R9 is how you can enter waypoints and the capability there and you've 
come to market with really a unique solution, which I believe you called Geofill. Why don't you tell us a little bit that? Well, Geofill is, uh, as you're entering your waypoints, it, uh, we have an algorithm that automatically suggests the next logical waypoint based on where you are and the type of uh, airway or, or jet route that you might be flying. And so if we enter that, let's go over here. If we were going <clears> to <throat> enter a next waypoint, it assumes because you're, if you're at this airport, here's the next VOR in the, in the link. And if you were to put in a, an airway, in this, as this case, you select it, and now you can select the, uh, the exit point, and it gives you a graphic representation. So we've really made it easy, it's intuitive, and it gives you positive feedback as you're entering the data. Welcome to the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource. Real-time, 24-7 online audio and video programming, where aviation has been getting updated for over a decade. Distributing over 11,000 stories, features, audio and video programs every year. Only ANN covers aviation and aerospace with this much depth, insight and expertise. Check us out on the web at aero-news.net. Tom, this is awesome. What a great capability that now Avidyne has a full panel suite that we can add our, those products to our aircraft and have a full Avidyne panel, something we've always wanted. Right, and the one thing that we did do with the autopilot enhancement, we had previously announced a partnership with Aspen, and uh, they're developing an interface so we can play with our autopilot, so you can interface our DFC-90 with the existing Integra-equipped aircraft, and now with a wide variety of uh, airplanes that Aspen's now certified on, we're going to start uh, going through those and starting with the Bonanza, the Baron, and the C-182. And uh, so we've got that interface is going to allow this the unique benefits of our autopilot for many more aircraft owners, straight and level, flight envelope protection, and all the safety benefits of our autopilot. So That's great. And hopefully that will achieve the FAA administrator's goal of safer flying for the next five years. That's so really what we're about, is flying made simple. And if we think that by making avionics that are simpler and easier to use, we're going to make a safer cockpit. Great. Well, there you have it, folks. Avidyne, full panel suite now. We've got great products, so we're looking forward to trying them out, Tom, over the next few months when you get them out. Sounds good. Thank you.